One difficult pregnancy and several surprise adoptions later, Mariska Hargitay remained determined to build the big family she always dreamed of. In November 2005, a little over a year after Mariska Hargitay tied the knot with her husband Peter Herman, the Law & Order SVU star's publicist Erwin Moore confirmed that the couple was expecting their first child together. Hargitay, who was in her early 40s at the time, couldn't have been more thrilled. She gushed about her excitement to be a mother to Self Magazine, saying, "...nobody wanted to be pregnant more than me. From the minute I found out, I was wearing full-on maternity pants. My stomach was totally flat, mind you, but I was just so excited." Sadly, Hargitay's pregnancy was anything but easy, with the stress of filming her hit crime drama eventually taking a toll on her. She reached a point during her pregnancy where she was so fatigued all she could do was eat. And unfortunately, the eating was apparently not inconsequential, as she received a gestational diabetes diagnosis by her final trimester. The actor would later reflect that the pregnancy was a particularly difficult time for her. On June 28, 2006, a full week after her due date, the Hargitay Herman household welcomed son August Herman via cesarean section, despite Hargitay wanting a natural birth. Four years after welcoming August, Mariska Hargitay and her husband Peter Herman knew it was time to expand their family. She told Good Housekeeping, August wanted siblings, and Peter and I both envisioned this big family because we both come from that. Plus, we just had so much love to give. Sadly, given the health complications she dealt with while expecting August, getting pregnant again was not an option for the couple, so they looked into adoption. An idea Hargitay had always nursed after growing up in her own blended family when her father remarried after the tragic death of her mother, Jane Mansfield. Following a series of disappointments in their 18-month adoption journey, the star and her husband received a call in 2011 informing them of a pregnant woman willing to put her baby up for adoption. Not only did the birth mother fully embrace Mariska as her baby's mother, but she also insisted that the actor be present in the delivery room. Speaking about her daughter Amaya's birth, Mariska told Good Housekeeping, "...I basically pulled Amaya out. Peter and I held her, and then the birth mother and I hugged for a long time. That was profound." In September 2011, only a few months after adopting Amaya, Hargitay and Herman received another phone call that would change their lives. A baby, who had been born two months prematurely, was getting released from the NICU while also being placed under adoption. Even though the couple wasn't looking to adopt at the time, they knew they couldn't pass up on the opportunity after the difficulty of their first adoption process. Following their meeting with the birth mother, Hargitay and Herman took their second son, Andrew Herman, home. Speaking to people about her son, the Law & Order SVU star said, "...Andrew, I always described it as this angel that fell out of the sky, because he was a little unexpected." Exciting, no doubt, but Andrew's addition to the Hargitay Herman family also came with its own challenges. The now veteran parents soon employed a private nurse to tend to his multiple medical needs. Despite these challenges, the actress told Good Housekeeping she wouldn't want her family any other way. For many around the world, parenthood comes with lessons, and Mariska Hargitay is no different. Since first becoming a mother in 2006, Hargitay has continued to evolve in many different ways. Hargitay has even become a source of inspiration for young parents, like director Greta Gerwig. And I think you're supposed to imagine a beach, but I would always imagine Mariska Hargitay's face. In 2018, she told People, "...the thing that's made me a better parent is my kids." because they taught me to really listen. My husband is my North Star, and my kids are my teachers." Apart from improving her listening skills, Hargitay has also found herself to have become more compassionate over the years. The actor once admitted to Health.com that prior to having kids of her own, she would get upset with mothers whose kids cried in planes or public spaces. These days, however, the Law & Order SVU star would handle the situation differently by actually offering to help. With her career as a parent coming up on two decades, she's developed a strong appreciation for the necessity of empathy in difficult situations. That said, Hargitay is not keeping these lessons to herself. The award-winning actor has also made it a point of duty to extend these teachings to her kids themselves. In 2012, she explained to Parents.com how she was modeling kindness to her oldest child August Herman, who was only six at the time. "...I teach him what it means to be kind. I continue to build on it so it becomes a child's mindset to be considerate." With Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson naming their daughter True, to Elon Musk's convoluted name for his daughter, 
Hollywood is no stranger to unconventional baby names. A12 is my contribution. Oh, why A12? Uh, Archangel 12, the precursor to the SR-71. Even though they gave their brood relatively common names, Marushka Hargitay and Peter Herman still kept things special when it came to naming their kiddos. For instance, for their first child's given name, the couple went with August, a moniker that had been in Herman's family history since the 1800s, according to People. While August's second name, Miklos, was taken from his late grandfather on Marishka's side, Mickey Hargitay, his third name, Frederick, is similarly a tribute to Herman's grandfather. For baby number two, the famous couple initially settled with Maya. However, Marishka told Good Housekeeping they eventually decided they wanted all their kids to share the same initials. So they evolved her name to Amaya. As for the moniker's meaning, Amaya means heavenly valley or night rain in Japanese, while in Spanish it's translated as mother city according to Mom Loves Best. For her part, Marishka noted it also means princess and warrior. Marishka and Herman's third child was named Andrew in tribute to one of the couple's beloved friends who tragically died shortly before he was adopted.